Hello, Pisces viewers. Today I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. Um, so let's just see. It could be an ex, could be a new person. Let's just see how the cards play out. So what is the story regarding your love life? What do you need to know? Please, cards, be direct, be clear. Show me what's going on. Show me what is going on. Please be clear and direct. Okay. Complicated. The moon. Deceit. Fledgling. Honesty. Invisible. Grove and letting go. So it's saying, I'm going to see if there's new love coming in too. Um, I noticed that's, that's a common theme this month is letting go of the, of, there's a lot of releasing of old energy and old toxic people and st just stagnation and, you know, drawing in true love, drawing in the right people. So the, what the cards are telling me here is basically there was a situation you were in where this is confirming that you were being deceived and manipulated because it's you see you notice the the first two cards complicated and deceit she's looking away from the complicated card and she's looking towards honesty so she's being honest with herself i think this person tried to convince you that it was just a complicated situation or they just maybe they were ghosting you but they would try to make excuses to pull you back in like oh i've just been busy or i just have a lot going on or like cheating on you and it's like they they make excuses for um you know why they're why they're talking to all these different girls or whatever it's just it's that kind of energy where it's like somebody tried to deceive you they tried to like you knew that your boundaries were being disrespected you knew that you were being either just used or you're being ghosted um or just basically just not loved properly, not loved the way that you want to be loved. You know, they weren't giving you as much as you were giving them. And they tried to kind of, I think they probably maybe were hot and cold and they kind of tried to spin it as, as oh, it's just complicated. Like, oh, I'm just, I'm busy. Well, I didn't mean to ghost you. I'm just really busy with work right now. Um, or making excuses for not committing to you. Or it could be for some of you, like being in it, I think it's going to be different for each person, but the energy is the same, you know, um, where there was somebody that just, they tried to deceive, they tried to make, they tried to make excuses for themselves, just excuse after excuse, just kind of trying to keep you on the hook without ever really fully committing to you. You know, it could be a third party situation too, where they're like, oh, I can't leave her or I can't leave him because we have kids together or I can't leave them because we share finances or this or that. Like it was just excuse after excuse for whatever the situation might have been. Just excuses for not committing to you. But with the, you know, with the deceit card here, it's like you're looking away from that. You're, you're realizing you're being deceived. You're realizing it's not just complicated. You know, this person is just trying to have their cake and eat it too. You know, with the honesty card here too, you're being, you're being honest with yourself. You're being honest about the situation and you're moving on from it. With the fledgling, you have this new start. That's what the fledgling is about, new starts. Um, with the moon, you're using your intuition to have this new start. You're listening to yourself instead of listening to this person and listening to this person's excuses. You're finally putting yourself first. You're finally putting your boundaries first. You're doing what's right for you. You know, you're listening to your, in you're developing and listening to your intuition and um, when something doesn't fit right with you now, you're this was like a karmic lesson for you, I think. So like now when something doesn't sit right with you, you actually listen to that gut feeling. You listen to your intuition. You listen to your body's intuition when something feels off or when they say something or do something that just feels like this like eh, a little bit shady or a little bit off, like some offhand comment. You're like, no, that wasn't OK with me. You know, your, your boundaries are much stronger now. It's a really beautiful energy and it's like you're you're. You're being intuitive, so that's how you're setting those boundaries is by by listening to your intuition, listening to your body when something doesn't feel right, listening to that feeling in your heart chakra and your chest when some, someone says or does something that just doesn't sit right with you, you know, and your intuition is allowing you to have this new start um, and to heal from this relationship and, and 
you know, with invisible. Yeah, this person made you feel invisible. So I do sense that there's probably some ghosting here. I think, or just, just emotional unavailability, just excuses. This person really did make you feel invisible and you've got to heal from that too. Um, with the grove, with grove here and letting go, it's like you do have some healing work that you're going to have to do with this. You know, you are going to have to go inward and really deal with, I think you have some insecure, some underlying insecurities, you know, especially due to this person making you feel just invisible and unwanted and just keeping you on the hook but never committing to you. But you're you're realizing, you know, it's not you. It's them. It's who they are as a person. It's, it's not you. It's nothing that you did wrong. Um, and, and so, yeah, you're working through those feelings of invisibility and you're, you're healing and you're letting this person go so that you can actually have true love and you can actually have somebody who's going to be on your level and give you the kind of relationship you want and deserve. Let's see what else we can get. Let's see what we can get about new love. Actually, hold on. Are there any messages regarding that, regarding that whole situation? Like any final messages regarding that? Water spirit, power struggle. Nightmares, hidden desires, mutual dream. Okay. Oh, hello. You think this person liked the idea of you? It's like you're this this mermaid here with this normal man. Um, it's like they like the idea of you. There might have been like lust there too. I do feel like it was probably a karmic relationship. It wasn't like that. I don't think it was that. I don't think it was as deep as it felt. Um, there's mental blocks and competition though with this person. It's like it's always like a power struggle. Um, I do feel some some new energy though. It's like you're you're still having the nightmares. Like not I mean maybe maybe if it, maybe actual nightmares, but it's also just about like restlessness, sleepless nights, like a fear, anxiety, chaotic mental state. So you're still doing the healing, but I feel like after that healing comes, you do have this like secret admirer, or this person that's kind of like noticing you and you might be telepathically connecting with them with the mutual dream card here it says you know lucid dreaming telepathic dream communication i'm dreaming of you too um let's see if we can we can get because i think right now you got it you're focusing on yourself and you're just focusing on your own healing so it's good but let's see what we let's see what we get it's interesting all the water signs are in similar energy because the the other reading I just did was the same, or not not exactly the same. I mean, the story is different, but it's also about letting go of abusive, toxic people. I think with this this new moon energy, I think the energy is just there's a lot of there's a lot of shifts going on right now. There's a lot of really powerful energy in the universe right now. I'm just like letting go of the old toxic people and stagnation and, and manifesting your true love. So what's what's up with the new person? So we already know about the old person. Let's let's leave him or her in the past. Screw that person. What's the new person about? What is this situation with this new person that's going to be coming in? Five of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Page of Cups reversed. The Devil. It's good energy. I think what the reading is just kind of saying is... Yes, there's this person in your energy field. There's this person watching you, but it looks like there's still a lot of a lot more healing that you've got to do. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, or right, no, that's not the Eight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles reversed, and the Knight of Swords. I feel like either this person is going to be helping you financially, like they're going to be stable and supportive and helping you financially, or you might yourself be focused on finances. You might just be kind of taking a vow to yourself. And getting through some financial struggles and focusing on your finances. But there is some kind of energy that however it happens, whether it's actually someone coming in and supporting you financially or it's just you focusing on your finances and bettering yourself, you are coming out of financial difficulty, it looks like, with the Knight of Swords. Um, at Knight of Wands, it's like there's still some struggle. You've got to have faith. You've got to be strong right now. Ten of Swords, it's, it's the... Um, the light after the darkness, you know, it's, it's that, that new sunrise basically coming in for you. It's like you've, with this situation, whatever it might've been, I think financial struggle probably, and also a person, 
Um, it's like you're coming out of all that energy. You're coming out of it. It's like you're, you hit rock bottom kind of, and it's like you're just done with that. You're moving forward past that. Um, the devil card, there might be some addiction that you have to watch out for. You have to kind of stay afloat. Um, make sure... So it's like sometimes if you get out of like a toxic or abusive or just a relationship where you're ghosted, it's like sometimes all this stuff just comes up for healing all at once. And sometimes it's easy to just like drink or do drugs or like party all the time or just like develop these negative belief systems or these negative habits, negative patterns. And so the devil energy is saying like watch out for that. Like when you because you are hitting rock bottom and coming through this phase with this person, I mean, you're letting it go. So it's like you have all this stuff that's going to come in to be healed. You know what I mean? It's like, it's going to be a bit of a process for you, I think. Um, and it's saying to really not get in the devil energy where it's like, see, this person had the weight of the world on their shoulders. It's like with the 10 of wands reverse, it's like they had the weight of the world on their shoulders. They had so much responsibility or they put so much into this relationship or they just they just put um, just so much energy into something and it's like it just wasn't going well for them. Like it just didn't go well for you or it didn't work out um, or just like maybe like being strong and independent for too long. It's like you just kind of broke down and you're just you just don't have any energy left. You're just tired of all of it because um, it's like it's like she had the weight of the world on her, on her shoulders and she's taking the weight of the world off her shoulders. Like she's just letting it all go. But you want to make sure you're not letting it go in like a toxic way. You know what I mean? Because with the devil energy, it could be like you're letting it all go, but you're letting it all go because you're being self-destructive and you're drinking all the time and you just don't give a shit about anything anymore, you know? Or you're letting it all go like, like you just stop caring for a while. So you want to make sure that as you're healing, you have that healthy balance and you don't get sucked into this devil energy of just self-sabotage and self-destruction and screw everything you know you want to you want to make sure because you are healing again you're you're healing and there's going to be a lot that comes up for healing it doesn't mean that you have to think positive all the time like I don't I do, I do not preach thinking positive all the time like you are going to feel negative you are going to cry a lot you know you are going to process this you are going to have a lot of healing to do and it's normal to cry it's good to cry it's good to let it all out but just let it flow out you know what I mean like don't just let your emotions just try to let your emotions flow naturally if you can just let them flow naturally don't try to like um don't feed the negativity you know what I mean like if you feel super negative and you just want to stay in bed all day and you just want to like cry just do it just let yourself do that heal but don't like make it worse than it is. You know what I mean? Like just let it flow. Just see it as something that's passing through you. Don't like cling to that negativity and start like thinking like, oh, I'm just going to stay down here forever. I'm just going to, you know, like screw everybody. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to get into that mentality. You want to um, just let, it, let your emotions flow. Let it just flow through you. Don't, don't, don't make it worse by drinking all the time or by doing drugs or by self-sabotaging or being self-destructive or fighting against what you feel or pretending to be someone that you're not or just whatever it is you know what I mean like just just let yourself heal let yourself cry let yourself feel whatever you feel but just let it flow let it flow naturally you know what I mean like don't don't let it go into like a deep, deep downward spiral. You know what I mean? Like don't make, don't feed the negativity. Let the negativity be what it is. Let it flow out, but just don't make it worse than what it is. Um, and don't get into this like seductive energy where you're pretending to be someone you're not. You know, don't do that. Just, it's, it's, it hurt your self-esteem and, but you have to realize it was that person. It wasn't you. Um, it's not your fault. You know what I mean? So don't get into this like, oh, I'm going to have the, upper hand next time around I'm never gonna let anybody do this to me again I'm gonna be on top of it I'm not gonna love anymore this 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 it's like no you're gonna love again you're human it's normal um you just gotta go through this healing process I don't know if your guys are gonna tell me anything about the new person coming in because I do think that they want you to focus on yourself but let me see if they will will you tell me anything about the new person that comes in after this healing process occurred occurs occurs yeah. Okay. The moon, the eight of cups, five of wands, five of swords, ten of pentacles. 
Yeah, unfortunately, they're not going to let me see too much. I do feel that the person coming in, but unfortunately, they're not going to let me see too much into that because they're going to want, they want you to focus on yourself right now, I think. They want you to heal. They want you to set strong boundaries. They want to make sure that you're attracting the right people. Um, and you do, you might still have the ex coming back also because with the moon and the eight of cups here, it's like, see how seductive the eight of cups is it's like come run away with me start a new life with me you know the moon it's like mystery um enchantment it's like they're seems like an abusive or toxic relationship or somebody that was like hot and cold and ghosted you and just was not emotionally available but it's like they want their cake they want to have their cake and eat it too they want what they want when they want it but when they don't want it they don't want it you know what i mean it's like if they feel you pulling away, they might try to be seductive and pull you back in and make these false promises of starting a new life with them or, or like, oh, let's like, I'm sorry, let me, let's try again. But it, it's bullshit. You know, you're going to go back to this, to this five of wands energy, to, to miscommunication, to being ghosted, to having this person not, not see and not acknowledge your pain, to having this person not, um, treat you right having this person just not be emotionally available with you uh five of swords could be third party conflict you know constantly having to defend yourself constantly having to be on edge having to set strong boundaries with this person because this person's always crossing those boundaries and your finances could be affected by this person too so it's saying like Focus on the Ten of Pentacles. Focus on yourself. Focus on your abundance. Focus on getting your financial situation better. Um, focus just on, on your healing, on just processing. And be strong when this person tries to come back around because they are going to try to manipulate you again. It's not genuine, though. They're going to try to... And if this is your story, you'll know who this person is, um, most likely. You know, this person is going to try to probably come back around and manipulate you. They're probably going to make some false promises to lure you back in or they're going to tell you they can do better or this, this, this. It's, it's, what abuse, it's what abusers always do. There's like, if you look into it, there's the, God, I forget what it's called, but it's like the abusive cycle where it's like somebody will hit you or they'll be abusive with you. And then it's like, they'll cry and they'll apologize. Um, and then things are like in the honeymoon phase for a while. And then they hit you again or they do something abusive or horrible again. And then it's like, it's just this, this never ending merry-go-round and you got to jump off the merry-go-round. You got to step out of your comfort zone and force yourself off that merry-go-round with this person. Um, but yeah, just be, I'm not saying this person was abusive. They could have just been just ghosting you and just not been there for you the way they should have been. But it's just, it's just a warning. Like they're going to try to seduce you. They're going to try to lie to you and pretend like they want to change. They're going to try to, um, give you some half-ass apology maybe and you need to be you need to use your intuition the moon energy your intuition to see through the lies you need to be intuitive enough to see through that seduction that manipulation you need to realize that they're just wanting you because they can't have you because you're finally pulling away you're finally setting boundaries you're finally saying no to them and they're not used to that and they're just wanting to just have you hooked again like they like have you on the side have you as like a side piece again you know or just you know have you like there because it's convenient for them but it's not true love they're not really gonna actually ever commit to you fully like the way that you want you know what I mean they're just trying to lure you back in so you need to be smart and you need to be really strong and you need to ignore them and you need to push them out um because if you don't it's going to be the same shit as before there might be like a little honeymoon phase for like a week or two and then once they know they have you again, they're going to go back to this five of wands and five of swords energy, you know, ghosting, um, neglect, miscommunication, um, arguments, fighting, choosing a third party over you. So focus on you, focus on your finances, focus on your 10 of pentacles instead. And if you do that, um, you see, if you do that, then you do have new love coming in. You're going to, but again, you're going through this phase where you have to process all this first and you have to really cut the X out. You might want to do like a cut and clear spell on them and do some uncrossing work. Like maybe do like an uncrossing bath to cleanse that energy out um, and just do lots of healing work, lots of setting boundaries, focusing on yourself, deciding who you are, what you want, um, just remaking your life what you want it to be. But again, focus on your career, your school, your hobbies, the things that you love, the things that make you happy. Try to fill your life with like hobbies and things that make you happy so you have something um, and you have like an outlet, you know, you have something that makes you happy. So when this person does come back around trying to text or call, 
you're not just like sitting there not doing anything and you're like, okay, shit, I have nothing else to do. I have nobody else. So I'm going to go back with this person. You know what I mean? Like fill your life with things that you love that make you happy. So it's like they call or text and you're, you're out with your friends or you're, you're doing an art project or you're singing or you're doing something that you love that makes you happy that you can focus on instead of focusing on this, this toxic person. So, so, um, be mindful of that. Yeah, definitely. Um, and again, hopefully we can get some, I mean, energy always shifts. So if you, if you go through this healing process and you let this person go, then this new person could come in fairly quickly. I mean, I do think it's kind of going to be a process for you healing. I think you're going to want to re like find yourself again and really remake yourself into what you want to be. But, uh, yeah, after that, you do have this new love coming in. So maybe, maybe in a couple weeks or so, I'll be able to get some more energy on who this new person coming in is. Hopefully it all depends. I mean, I'm channeling you guys, I'm channeling your story. So remember it's up to you. It's not, it, it's like in two weeks I could channel and we could still be in this energy where you're, where you're processing this and you're going through it. Or in two weeks, you could be like, screw that. I'm done with this person forever. I cut them out. I blocked them on every social media site. Change my number. Um, like, I'm healing. I'm, You know what I mean? And then you might get a little more insight into who this, this new love that's going to come in is. So, um, yeah, that's where you guys are at. Basically, that's what I'm getting. So if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you. Oh, and if you want a private reading, you can message me. My email is below.